All right, this is a video on just a really quick one on how to do the report writing features and, and the paperwork piece. Um, I'm going to have to be careful in how I do this because if I go from one thing to another, sometimes I think I'm on the next page because it shows that way on my computer, but it doesn't show that way on yours. So hopefully I'll get this right. So let's say we are doing a report for Billy. Um, and I'm sure that you have gotten calls from uh, your administration saying, hey, we, uh, we're having an IEP on Billy for Billy right now. Um, you know, we need, a we need a new evaluation. Can you be here in about 10 minutes? You know, we've gotten those calls. Um, and so being able to write a report under time pressure, you know, very difficult. Um, and I was talking to one of my fellow teachers um, just the other day, actually, and she was stressing out over a uh, functional vision evaluation she was writing and, um, you know, the verbiage she was using and wanting to make it just so. And I asked her, you know, who, who do you think reads these? And she looked at me for a moment, kind of like I was capable of saying something profound. Um, and it was kind of like a weight sort of started to slip off her shoulders as she realized that no, Nobody reads these. You know, we talk over the evaluations with the parents prior to the IEP. We don't read it at the IEP. You know, it, the, the evaluation may go on to another teacher of the visually impaired, but, or, or in our cases, you know, orientation mobility specialist, are they going to worry about how you know, we, we labored over the word smithing? Um, no, I mean, they, they just want the information on the kid as quickly and efficiently as possible so that they can get out of their office and go start seeing the kid and see what they think and, you know, their assessment of needs. And the inventory works out very well for that. And the report writing is just a reflection of the chart that's on the front page. It, it's, it's literally this chart in word form. That's all it is. Now, if you want to write a report and spend two hours on it, making sure every word is just so, more power to you. Um, if you want to do the, uh, the inventories version and stick purely with that, okay. Um, you know, if you want to use the inventories as a shell and add your own commentary, it's a tool for you to use how you see fit. You know, you could completely ignore the report writing aspect if you, if you don't have any use for it. You could use it um, extensively, if that's what you need. For the report writing piece, um, essentially what you do is you come to R1 and you put in the kid's name. So if there's no kid's name in R1, there won't be one in R2 or R3 or any of the other ones. But if we go to R1 and you put in Billy's name or William, and no, the kid's not named William either. Um, but, you know, whatever name you need to put in there, um, you know, you, you pop it in there and then it just kind of auto populates all the way through. And you noticed as soon as we put in the word William, all these changed to William. Um, you know, if it was Mary, they all changed to Mary, whatever. Uh, we're just going to stick with Billy because why not? Um, so we go to report R2 because on the front page, we are in the second column and it even says R2. And, and I added this in, by the way, um, with version six of the inventory and with the inventory because I'd get over here and then I'd have to count one, two, three. So, you know, who's got time for that? So now it just tells you R2, you come down here to R2 and you just copy. And you only copy the white. And, and there's little snarky things all over here, um, you know, about only copying the white. And it, it really is that way um, because what you see up here is a formula. And the formula refers to a bunch of stuff way down here below the black where the numbers are transferring from, you know, the previous pages and, and whether or not putting them in places, whether or not the student uh, did well with something, which means 80% or more, had room for improvement, which is basically 20% to 80% or 21% to 80%, um, hadn't had the opportunity to work on it, which, um, you know, that would be your, your ones, and then didn't need the skills, those would be your zeros. Um, so, don't worry about any of this stuff down here. It doesn't matter. Just just know that you only need to copy the white. And it, it, it says here, just, just copy the white. Um, you know, highlight and copy the white cells. Paste in a Word document as text only or unformatted. I'm going to show you why here in just a second. But um, just to make sure, you know, kind of reiterate things, 
Um, I've just uh, clicked on box B5, and you see up here at the top, there's nothing there. It looks like there is, but it's just coming over from this formula in A5. So just copy the white. That's all you got to do. It's, it's A3 uh, all the way down to, I think it's like A100 or something. Yeah, A100. So you just copy that. That's it. We're actually going to copy a little bit more. And the reason why is once I get over to the Word document, I don't want to have to come back to this because I figure if I can get the Word document to do its thing once, um, I'll be ahead of the game. So I'm just going to copy all of these. The goal, the progress report, everything. I'm just going to copy all of it. Now, hopefully I'm going to be smart enough about this. We're going to go to new, new share. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna stop share and then I'm gonna start share again to try to make sure I don't mess this up because I probably will, quite frankly. Um, here we go. So let's hope I don't mess this up. All right. So hopefully we are now looking at a Word document. And this is the shell that's available on the NMS BBI website for free. All you do is download it, change the address and the name and school and all that kind of stuff. Make it whatever you need to. The top information is pretty much the same kind of stuff that you know you would see most anywhere. Again, make any changes you want to, need to. Um, you know, if your functional vision evaluations, let's say, let's hope you and your TVI have uh, good relationships where you can just literally copy and paste because it's the same information uh, from the functional to the o and I mean, you know, the, the acuity, the field, when the eye, 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 uh, eye examination was made, yada, yada. That's all the same. So if you can copy and paste that, great. Saves you the time. Um, sources of data, um, you know, student interview, you can put parent in it. You can, you can add whatever you want to in here. Um, you know, I, I just have those in there as my stock too. Um, Procedures and results, and it says, please note the percentages are not letter grades. Rather, they indicate a percentage of the curriculum or domain within the curriculum that the student has mastered. That's it. Now, this part down here that we're getting to, um, th this was kind of back when, um, before I, I had the report writing thing figured out. And then I'd have to look at the Excel, and then I'd have to manually type in, oh, the concept score was 58.2% you know, or whatever it was. And then, you know, I'd have to look and, and do a lot of typing. Well, who has time for that? So we're just going to wipe out, actually, I think I'm gonna leave that up there because I don't know, I don't remember what I've got on there. So let me leave that up there. I'm just gonna highlight this stuff that used to be uh, needed, but is no longer. And so we're just gonna get rid of it. We're now, going to paste. And you can paste in a couple of different ways. You can do what I've just done here, where you know, you've know you got your little paste link. Um, and if you hit control V, or if you just hit paste, it's taking a second, sorry about that. It's taking a long second. There it goes. All right. That's the stuff down there that we didn't really want, but I just got so I didn't have to go transfer back to the other. Uh, since we just hit paste, we have a little bit of a problem. Um, we're going to be getting rid of a bunch of this stuff. Um, like, for example, here we have Billy did well with skills that made up the area. So we're just going to get rid of that whole line because there was nothing there. Now, you see we have all these little extra commas. Okay, so you get rid of your extra commas. The commas are there because of the formula piece. Um, and no, I can't make it not have extra commas unless there's no commas. And then you have to put in the commas. And it was easier to take out than put back. But here is why we don't want to, um, we don't want to just hit paste. We want to um, do um, a different way. Uh, so I'm hitting backspace and nothing is happening. Now I can make it change. I mean, but I think I can make it change, but it, it's, it's a pain. So instead of doing that, we're just gonna get rid of all that junk. And instead of doing that, let me go back here to home. Sorry, I was on the wrong screen there. We're gonna go to paste and we're gonna go to paste special. And we want, unformatted text, something unformatted. Unformatted text probably is our best bet. And the reason why, we'll go back to wherever that was. I can't remember what it was in. So and we'll just do this one here, orientation skills. So Billy is not above 80% in anything yet. So we're going to get rid of the Billy did well. Billy had room for improvement with cardinality. We're going to put in the word and, and then we're going to get rid of all these commas and put in a period. Now we can just backspace. 
Billy hadn't had the opportunity to work on the area or skills in the areas of get rid of some extra commas, clues, da, 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 and maps. Period. Billy didn't need skills in the areas of, there's nothing there, you get rid of it. And if you want to make it nice and pretty, you can, uh, you can make that bold. Yay. And so you just go all the way through doing that. It's completely mindless. You've already done the work getting the data. And so typing out, you know, hey, Billy did with, wasn't over 80% with this or that. And, and he was um, between 20 and 80%. Instead of doing that, you know, you can, you can just have the uh, Winmentory do it for you and just turn the text into print. I'm sorry, turn the, uh, the, the numbers into text. Okay, so that's, and it comes down and it does summary as well. So, and it'll take stuff from the front page. Billy demonstrated 24.45% of the skills needed to travel independently as an adult. Uh, you would get rid of this line. Uh, you would clean this stuff up. Um, right there, there we go. Um, so it takes no time at all. Since nobody read the, reads these, I guess you could just leave it, um, you know, extra commas in there and nobody would ever know it. But, you know, if you're OCD like I am, you might want to, uh, you know, just take care of that, just to take care of that and feel better about yourself or something. Um, but anyway, the summary basically writes itself. Not basically, it does write itself. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't add anything you want to add. You get rid of the stuff you don't need. And now if you want to write, you know, Billy is a fine student with a good attitude and, and a pleasure to be around and all that kind of stuff, more than welcome. You can put in, you know, community, you could put in anecdotes about how, you know, you and Billy went to this store and you did that, or you went to this restaurant and he had this issue and, you know. Whatever it is, you can you can do it. Um, I'm gonna actually going to copy this stuff from down here. Remember the stuff I just stuck in there, I, uh, um, like the progress report and stuff. Normally, you would not be copying all at once, but I did just so I wouldn't have to transfer back over to the Excel and then back into here, possibly screwing it up each time because I do that sometimes. Um, present levels of educational performance. It's going to go look at that front page, and it's going to see What's above 80%? None of them are above 80, 80%. Well, I'm not going to leave Billy did well with the skills that made up none of the domains. No, no, I, I'm going to say Billy did not yet um, demonstrate more than 80% proficiency with any of the skills in the domains. And his best was movement or whatever it was. And then I'm just going to continue from there. He had room for improvement with these. And basically, these are the ones we, we've worked on. Um, and they are not listed all as ones. There are some in here that are just listed as ones, and we'll get to those in a second. So we'd finish that, put in the and, put in the community. Um, now look, there's an extra comma. I told you commas are the banes of my existence. Um, Billy hadn't had the opportunity to work on. Well, we haven't done any guided travel. We haven't done any cane skills. We haven't done uh, any street crossings. We haven't done any public transportation. Billy is six years old and using a wheelchair and still working on very familiar environments. So, and I'm going to put the and there. I'm going to get rid of the extra junk. I'm going to put a period. Boom, there's my plot. Uh, my district, I have to do uh, RL. So I would have made a change here to the beginning to make it something other than just, oh, Billy didn't have any skills above 80%. You want know, to put something there. Um, but most often you'll have a kid over here who's movement or, or uh, indoor o &M or vision specific skills, whatever is up here over 80%. That's great. Same thing with strengths. It comes from right here. So again, I would just copy this, the sentence about, you know, Billy didn't yet uh, score above 80% in any of the domains of the, in, of the inventory, but, you know, he, he did best in this domain or, or you know, highlight some, some kind of a thing that Billy does well. So, you know, that way I mean, the parents have something to look at and it's not, um, we, we, we want them to have, you know, a, a positive uh, view of, of how he's doing in mobility. We don't want to lie. We don't want to embellish at all. I'm not suggesting you do either. Um, that, that will come back to bite you. So I, I definitely would not do that. But you know, there are definitely positive things about every kid you work with. And you can put some of that in there for strengths. Um, the concerns, again, it just comes from this second part right here. Um, you know, as far as, um, you know, what he had room for improvement with and what he hadn't had the opportunity to work on. You can just copy, paste. So that part of the IEP is basically done. 
um, goal, all it does is it looks at the front. He was at 25.45%, rounds it up and adds five. Maybe you don't think 30% is, a, is, a, is a, the best goal for him. Maybe you think, man, Billy's, yeah, we're really struggling. You know, let, let's call that 28%. Maybe you think, man, Billy's, he's, he's going to do really well, 45%. Now, one way you can, you can do that is you can, uh, or, or get an idea of the percentage, you can go to the inventory, um, say the indoor page, for example, and you can say, we are going to crush this. He's going to have all threes and fours by the end of this year. Put those scores in the next assessment period see what it does on the front page and then say, oh, okay, that's going to, if I make those changes in the, uh, in the indoor, it's going to get them to 45%. And you can make it whatever you want to. You don't have to do this. You, you could, you could make it based on a domain, you know, uh, Billy's going to demonstrate improved skills in the area uh, by increasing score on the indoor domain or in indoor O&M domain of the O&M inventory from uh, whatever percent to whatever percent, you know, you can do discrete goals if you want to do discrete goals. This is just a suggestion. You can change this any way you want. You can completely avoid or avoid using it. You can, you know, use just the way it's written, whatever. It's, it's a toolbox for you. So do, uh, do what you need to do, what works best for you. And then you know, just kind of go from there. there. I'm not telling you, you must write the goal this way, that way. That's, that's not my role. I'm, I'm, this is just a tool for you. So use it as you see fit in your professional judgment. Progress report. Um, it'll look at the past progress port or past progress. Remember how we, we did some manipulation and uh, we actually wound up lowering it. He was like, I don't know, 25.8 or something um, or 25.98. Um, so if we hadn't messed around with his if we hadn't messed up his or messed around with that, it would have it would have shown the twenty five point nine eight or whatever it was, and then it takes whatever that number is percentage of the way to the goal of thirty percent and it puts it there. Uh, Billy made gains. Then what it does is it it goes up and it looks at all of the domains from that first quarter to the second quarter, and it says which numbers went up, and everyone that went up is here. Everyone that is not did not go up. Like concepts, for example, we didn't make any progress. So it's a comma. So you get rid of the comma. And then you come down here to the end and you put your and after you get rid of all those commas and you put your period. Now, again, that doesn't mean you can't add anything you want to add. If you want to spend 15 minutes working on uh, uh, the progress report and, and talking about those those stories, you know, um, have at it. Uh, I am I am not going to suggest you do otherwise. Um, you know, you, it this is a tool for you um, now. The way I do this, yeah, I, I actually just copy and paste. And what I'm doing, you see right here, please see the attached chart. I, I make a copy of the chart, and then we have the progress report, both go home to the parent. I can tell you my parents don't even read the text. They're just looking at the progress report, or at the, at the chart, rather. Um, because this is just the chart in text form. That's all it is. Um, so by doing this, um, when, uh, when I have to do my um, mid-quarter progress reports, um, which, you know, that was just a requirement that they put on us, what about, I can't remember how many years ago, I, I copy my session notes, and I send those home to the parents. And then at the end of the quarter, when I update the inventory, or in this case, the winventory, I then use the progress report that's there. It takes me no time at all. But the parents have told me, they get more information out of my progress reports than anybody else's. And it's because of the chart and they can look at it and they can see where gains are made or not made. And they can see it at a glance. Um, so, you know, the, the word smithing hasn't been something that I've spent a lot of time doing. Um, but again, it's up to you. You're the O&M, you know, the parent, you know, the kid, you know, the situation, you know, your administration. Um, and so, you know, do whatever you need to do for you. This is just a tool for you to use or not use if you don't feel, um, if you don't feel it's appropriate. Um, recommendations, I just go through and, and wipe out whatever I don't want, um, whatever's not appropriate for the kid. Um, some of these have been around forever. Um, you know, the, the summer orientation mobility instruction, um, you know, I, I can't remember um, when that was ever used. Um, so, you know, the, these are, these are tools that you can use or not use. You can change these as much as you want to. 
um, you know, the report will come off of the inventory just like this. And then you can add, uh, you could subtract, I guess. I don't know why you'd bother, but you could. Um, yeah, and, and there we go. So I wanted to make sure I had that in there. And yes, I do. So good, I was smart enough to do that. Um, anyway, so that, that's just a video on how to use the report writing, um, you know, a kind of a quicker one than I think the other ones you'll find um, in order to just take care of some paperwork. So that way you have more time to get out there and, and spend time with kids instead of sitting in an office and going through some of the paperwork that, you know, the value to the student of the paperwork, some of it's questionable, but, you know, we, we have to check the box. Um, you know, that's just the way the feds and states uh, say, or, or your own organization. Um, so, you know, th this could be a part of, uh, oops. Uh, this could be a part of the uh, the solution for you, or, you know, maybe you don't use it, maybe you only use parts of it, whatever. It's whatever works for you.